Hey, welcome to Your Nurse Pro. This is the first video cast. We're going to show you how to insult, insult, insert a peripheral IV using ultrasound guidance. So the first thing you want to do is have proper um, patient position as best you can. Um, if you can get them supine, you want to have them extend this arm out 90 degrees. Um, and I rotate it. I usually put a washcloth or a little towel here just to get a nice flat surface exposing the upper arm. Anytime you're putting in an IV, you generally want to try to start from lower and work your way upper. For the point of this video, I'm going to use the basilic vein uh, or see what he has anyway. Um, and then, so when you're looking at the upper arm, if you can divide it into thirds, you ideally want to look at the center third. Um, that way, a lot of times when you get in veins here and here, there's a lot of movement and the catheter can come out. So when you first just do an inspection, you just want, I just use a regular ultrasound gel, and this is just purely to look. Get a nice C grip, use your pinky finger on the base of the arm. Um, and I start right in the middle, and the first thing I look for on the monitor is, on the screen, is the brachial complex. Um, so if I compress down, if you look on the screen here, right here, uh, is the artery. You can see it pulsating a little bit. And when I loosen up here, just laterally is the basilic vein. You can see it compresses beautifully. Um, just beside it looks like there's a little nerve running along it. So that vein looks pretty good as a target. The other thing I do is on the arm is I'll run the probe up and down the arm just to see where the vein's traveling. Um, to see if it bifurcates, see if it goes down, up, uh, see what kind of line I need to take on the on the vein. Looks pretty good. So, all right. So I'm gonna wipe this off, clean it up, and we'll get ready to insert it. All right. So I like to use chlorhexidine on the site um, to clean these. This is a clean procedure. It is a peripheral IV. It doesn't have to be a sterile procedure. I know there's a lot of vascular access teams out there who will make it a sterile procedure. Um, if you want to for blood cultures or if you've got a patient who's going to be, you know, is going to be an admit for a long time, um, you may want to consider it. If we use for the probe cover, just the little tegaderms, um, sometimes you find, you find in the um, IV start kits, we'll put those right on the end of the probe. Uh, the gel that we're going to use is a sterile water soluble gel and the probe actually shouldn't come in contact with your insertion site um, so it really should be fine. The water soluble gel they come in the um, probe packs and you should also have water soluble gel lubricant um, throughout the department anyway. So again, just as before, you want to have a nice C-grip on the probe, pinky finger just to base it. Again, you want to find your target vein again. And there it is. And the other thing I'm going to do just before, I almost forgot, is I'm going to quickly put on a tourniquet. You don't always have to have a tourniquet, but I tell you what, you'll see once you start to insert, if you don't have a tourniquet on, sometimes the vein will continually tent and it's tough to pierce through the actual um, side of the vein. And of course it makes the vein pop out a little more. So there you can see on our screen again, I've got the, the target vein here compressing nicely going to run it down. Again, you, you kind of want to be in the middle. Middle third of the arm. Alright, so now I'm going to grab the IV. And I'm going to do this two ways. Right now I'm looking at it cross-sectionally. And this is the way I insert the IV. Um, and then, just before I puncture the vein, I twist to a longitudinal look. Um, and this allows me to see the actual catheter float into the vein. All right. Again, you want to come in on a bit of a steeper angle. This vein's somewhat shallow. It's only about a half centimeter deep, so I don't have to come in that steep. 
Um, the deeper the vein, the steeper the angle you want to come in. Um, and usually come back from the vein about the same distance down. So you just want to be about a half centimeter back. And here we go, one, two, three. And if you look up on the screen, there's something called the ring down effect, which is you can see me kind of bouncing right above the vein. Um, that's how you know where your needle is. It's called the ring down effect. And his is a very shallow vein. And so you can see the tip of my needle is actually already in the vein. See it bouncing there? So if I switch to a longitudinal view uh, on, the on the screen, you can see the length of the, the vein there, still compressible. And so now we want to look at the actual needle, uh, which is going to be coming in from the top left of your screen. You can see right there on the screen, you can see that nice catheter coming right through on the vein there. And you just keep threading that through and the needle's out. Just freeze that, it'll point up there. There's the catheter coming into the vein there. See, I can compress it. Oops, I just floated off of my probe. There it is. It's a beautiful shot right there of it. There's your vein traveling on, catheter's coming in. And if you look down, you can obviously see I've got the flash and it's in, and then you're just going to finish your normal IV procedure. So that's a quick take on uh, inserting an IV uh, with ultrasound guidance. Thanks a lot.